Hey, good morning. Day 56 on the trail. Hey, uh, that stealth spot was a rather nice, cozy, comfortable, quiet place. Uh, worked out very well. Um, got a good night's sleep at 7.35, ready to take off, all packed up. You can see, there's my tent spot, the dry spot right there. Everything's good, ready to head out. Uh, the goal today is not the next shelter, but the shelter after. I believe it's why I shelter. I think it's an 11, 12 mile day. <clears throat> and then we'll see where we go from there. The trail is uh, a general slight trend upward. No big hills, just a lot of little knobs and stuff, so. That's a good thing. Might be able to make a little more and go further. So we'll see where we go. I haven't had cell service for two days. So I'm getting a little stir crazy. <laughs> uh, but uh, hopefully we'll get some service today sometime. And we'll go from there. <laughs> that being said, I got to go up there about 30 yards to catch the trail. And then uh, I'll be on my way northbound. All right. See you up the trail. Remember? Remember lungwort? It's an indicator species of relatively clean air. Indicator species is a, an organism whose presence... Gives you clues about the environment. Uh, gives you some... Let you know that some characteristic of the environment is present or absent. In the case of lungwort, pretty clean air. Alright, this is the morning trail. It started out a little rocky. Then it became broody as we went through this... Uh, mixed hardwood evergreen forest here. It's still a little rooty, but trend downhill. I believe we go down to a gap and a road before we start our overall upwards trend for the day. I'd come a little further, we'd have some nice spots to camp. But we were up in a slopey, rocky area and didn't know how long it would last. I say we, Dead Man Walking, and I kind of camped together last night. Yeah, this would have been nice. Ooh, nice black cherry. Very well. We'll catch you up the road, up the trail. Here's some for you. Seek says it's hobble bush, but I've never seen hobble bush this large before. Maybe down south it gets taller. I don't know. It'll be interesting. I'll have to keep an eye on it. Yeah, I always called it witch hobble. Hobble bush is another name for it. Up in New York, it only grows like two or three feet tall. It tangles your legs. I think that's where it got its name, hobble. It hobbles you. So, interesting. We will keep an eye out for it. I've been seeing more sugar maple, and here's proof of it. Someone's tapping trees to produce maple syrup. I imagine season's over down here. Oh, definitely over. <laughs> it's over up in New York. <laughs> what am I thinking? Interesting. All right. Okay, I guess we're going into the elk garden section. In the Lewis Fork Wilderness. Mount Rogers, highest peak in Virginia.
Okay. Heading in. This is the expanse. Appalachian Trail is over here. Walking on grass. Wow. That's nice. Oh, this, this might be pony country. Wild pony country. That'd be cool. I think it's Grayson Highlands that has the ponies. Let me get up to the top here. I'll see if I have cell signal. All right. Here's the sign says first. No horses. Yep. Still no signal. So here's a view from the first top. This is Lewis Fork Wilderness. I've been seeing some horse piles, horse poop piles, so I guess we're gonna we might see some horses and ponies. Just came through the style, tried to register, but there's no empty sheets. I guess the rangers are really on it. Entering the Lewis Fork wilderness. Close to the Grayson Highlands, near the Mount Rogers turnoff, and the trail goes right by this grassland, bald. Look at this. Well, 
Today's hiking may now worthwhile. Yeah. Looks like we're getting into pony territory. Wild ponies. Yay. Right. We just came through a spruce fir stand. Sorry, my poles are got my straps on my poles on and I'm sweaty so I can't get them off easy. <laughs> All right, should be coming up the side trail at least to the top of Mount Rogers, which I'm not taking. I know, but they have to make decisions. Ah. This is what we've been hiking up for the last couple miles. Well. The steps here, the last half mile, and similar stuff before that. Mount Rogers is topped with uh, a red spruce brazier fir forest, so there's no views. But I did see on the board that the Fraser firs are suffering from uh, balsam woolly adelgids so I don't know if that's a different species of adelgids than uh, what have been attacking hemlocks or specific to balsam, but it's transferred south, got south more because balsam firs are the firs in the spruce fir forest up north. Okay, here's the Mouth Rogers Trail. The AT makes it right. Oh, there's the blaze. Awesome. We'll swing around here, should take us to the shelter and the lunch. Alright, it's a little rough. All right, just came through the style. That means I'm in pony territory. I have to see if there are any around. If I see some, I'll bring them to you. Let's just take a picture of how 
ruggedly beautiful this is. Hang on, let me zoom in. Look how ruggedly beautiful this is. Awesome stuff. All right, let's get moving. Okay, everybody. Big mile mark. 500. Cool beans. Almost a quarter of the way. Just came through this rocky, craggy trail. Similar to this. Uh, so. It's a little on the rough and treacherous side. dark like storms coming in I'm hoping it holds off until we get to the shelter look at this oh all right I see some people ahead all right well you got an idea what it's like up here I've been wondering what keeps the horse's hooves from growing too long. <laughs> now I know. All the rocks. Alright, let me get some moving. Okay. I'm told it's called the Fat Man Squeeze. I guess that means I'm going to get squeezed. I should have taken a bypass. Now I gotta check my pack, see if everything's still on it. All right, pack off so I can check. Make sure my camp shoes are still on it. Well, just came through that jumble of rocks. That was Fat Man Squeeze. I had to stop and take my pack off because I heard a lot of noise when I went through. But I thought maybe I lost something. I think it was just one of my water bottles getting crunched against a rock. But I got both my camp shoes, so all's good. Alright. Yeah, about three and a half miles to shelter. To the wide shelter. And I want to make sure I get there. Hopefully get a spot. And with that in mind, I'm going to turn it off camera for a while. Use my poles to go over this rock. And whatever else is coming my way. Alright. Grayson Highland State Park. Still got their winter fur on. The 
the second one in the back. That. Wonder if it's pregnant. Alright. Well, the first part of the trail in Grace Island is pretty easy. <clears throat> we'll have to see what it looks like further down. Maybe we'll see. Maybe we'll see more ponies. Yeah, uh, crap a rock. The sign at the start of the Mount Rogers area said Mount Rogers, White Top Mountain were all of volcanic origin. So pretty interesting. All right, let me get the hiking. You get out here, and you get these rock outcrops. Mind you, not that I've ever been to Africa, but when you watch movies about nature in Africa, they got these stone even call them. Awesome stuff. Some asshole had pistachios off the shelves. So far, only two ponies, and they didn't lick me. <laughs> Smart horses. <laughs> I wouldn't lick me after three days without a shower either. <laughs> shelter <clears throat> so I'm gonna put the phone up for now try to make that mile I don't know what I'm gonna call this video I was gonna say ponies but I only saw two not like the whole videos about it oh well Anyway, let me get going at getting this mile over with. I'll bring you back when I get to the shelter. Or for anything worthwhile in between. Look what I found. Hey. Good, I got small, I got licked. Hurrah. All right. Here's the wise shelter. I hear people, I hope it's not full.
sorry, man. So I passed him, <laughs> right? And so then later on, he caught up to me, but he didn't know I was there. I was like, you're on switchbacks. I'm above him. And I made some noise. Great, again, he's like, dude, that, that's on you, man. All right. <laughs> Behind you. That's it for the night. That was my introduction to Irish. Oh, the other Irish.